Hi friends, I'm going to paint a pet portrait of a bearded dragon named Angus. Follow along and see how it develops. Okay, so I'm going to paint a pet portrait on a six by six canvas. It's an inch and a half thick. I love it when they're wrapped and tucked. And then we'll write the word love on it because it's an awesome way to start. And then we're going to paint. Oh, this was a water. I, I should probably mention this is a watercolor pencil. It'll dissolve right into the paint. Um, and we're going to paint Angus. He's a bearded dragon. So I printed him out to scale. So it's, if I cut it out, it's six by six. Here's a light version, kind of a medium version. And this is the crop that they want. And this is a dark version. So we're gonna have a black background. Um, and the other thing I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint my canvas white to get more paint on it and to smooth it out. Um, I like the texture on a canvas. I don't know if you can see. There you can kind of see the texture. Um, but I think I might want it just a little smoother because he's got almost canvas-like texture on his chin and his nose. I, I probably don't need to do it. I do that a lot. I do things I don't need to do. Um, but to be safe, I'm gonna paint some white on it. So I've got some titanium white put out. Oh, I just grabbed a way too big of a brush. Um, 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 let's see here. Here we go, this one will work. Oh, I think actually I made a bigger brush. Okay, so I'm gonna paint some white. <laughs> How many times have I said that? on the canvas just to smooth it out. And then I'll pop back in. This will be an overall, this overall will be a time-lapse video because it'll take quite a while to paint such a detail. Um, but I'll pop back in once I get uh, Angus on the canvas. All right, a couple of things that popped to mind as I was painting this. So I've, I put out about twice as much white paint as I, uh, had originally on my palette to cover this. Um, usually the first coat of paint um, sort of sucks into the canvas and the the, it, the canvas is gessoed but still sucks in more. And now that I've got a coat of paint on here, it won't take as much paint to cover the background, if that makes, I hope that makes sense. Um, and then you could divide your canvas with some charcoal pencil, chalk pastel, water the watercolor pencil I use, you could divide your canvas in half and then you could divide your photo in half and then sketch on each piece. It's a, it's a good way to draw it. Or you could even divide it like in thirds and then this in thirds and that'll just make it easier to draw on. Or you could turn this into a traceable like a lot of my YouTube videos and my traceables I have on my website. You could turn this into a traceable and trace it right on here. Um, I've hair dried this, which is another point I wanted to make. But since I put the paint on so thick, I can tell it's still a little cool and it's just surface dry. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow before I do any sketching or anything because it'll probably dent and stuff and it'll just work easier. Um, and then that way, like if I turn this into a traceable and I've got the charcoal scribbled on the back, that way the charcoal will sit more on top of here rather than if I do it now, it, it'll kind of get stuck and absorb into the paint. Okay guys. I'll see you tomorrow, or I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, let's take a look. I have Angus on my canvas. Uh, this is the next day, and I'm glad I waited because it was much easier to get him transferred onto the canvas, and then actually easier to erase because I corrected something. So I did a combination of both sketching and tracing <laughs> um, just to get it right. And then I'm gonna bring him over on the side so I'm just going to indicate, like his toe is going to be kind of short on the bottom, but it won't show and I don't know what it looks like, but I've got his arm coming over here and then you can kind of tell, I don't know if you can see it, but his body comes up. So I just continued it up and then I don't know what this looks like. So we'll just kind of indicate and fade it, fade it off on the side. I thought you might want to see, 
There's a lot of detail there. If you're doing a pet portrait, I would start with a cat or maybe a more simple dog. Um, like golden doodles are kind of hard, but maybe a Dalmatian could be easy. It's just white and with black spots. Well, the white could be a little tough. I'm trying to think of an easy dog, but I'm not that up on all the breeds. But you'll know looking at the photo, like a golden doodle has all those swirls going everywhere. There's one on my website and also in my online gallery if you want to look at it. So I'm trying to decide now, and it doesn't really matter if I want to paint the background first, which I normally do, or if I want to paint Angus first. Um, I don't think it matters because there's so much difference between the background and the bearded dragon. Um, and then also, a lot of times I paint the whole background first, but since Angus is so much lighter than the background, I think he'll be quicker to uh, have the white behind him and then the background separate, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna get started painting and the rest from here on will be time-lapse. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, please leave comments about what you think, any questions you have. Um, I really enjoy connecting with you guys and I'll also talk a little bit at the end. So let's take a look. I think I'm done. And if I'm not done, I am very, very close. So what I do now is um, I'll just let this sit in my studio. Um, I have this one taped to the wall right in front of me so I can look at it for reference because it's pretty close. I kind of did a combination of this darker printout and this lighter printout. Um, to get a little more contrast in Angus. So I suppose it leans a little more towards this one. And then I added a little bit more color. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little more yellow to this one. Um, just because it's, well, just because I think it'll look a little richer. 
And I added a little dark brown to the background where this is pretty much black, like th those sorts of things. Um, and then I did paint the side, but I made it a little bit more, a um, little less detail, I guess is a better way to say it. So that, cause you don't want, so if it's sitting, you know, on a shelf or something, you don't want the side to be more important than this area right here. And then once I decide it's done, I might touch it up over the next couple days, see what needs changing and adjusting. And then I'll put a gel gloss isolation layer on it after it's dry for a couple days. And then after that gel gloss isolation layer dries, then I'll, uh, well, actually, actually, first I'll send so a little video to the person who commissioned the pet portrait to see if they like it. And then if they approve it, I'll put a gel gloss isolation layer on it, let it dry for several days and then put uh, the varnish that they choose. Usually people go with satin varnish. Anyway, I think Angus turned out really cool. He was really fun. He was like a really complicated puzzle to put together. You know, lots of little pieces and a lot of similar colors. So that was really fun. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I, thank you for so much for watching. Thank you so much if you're on YouTube for subscribing. I've been getting comments and questions. I just love that. Um, I love your comments. And your encouragement on Facebook, that's so fun for me. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Art hugs, and then I hope to chat with you guys soon. Bye.